Okay guys, we are back and we've got some more news to talk about on the leak, on the NVIDIA leak front, all of that stuff. Now this is not something that I've actually covered much on this channel, but I wanted to get into it because there's some pretty big RPGs that I think I'm like 95.5% sure are happening and I definitely wanted to talk about them and some other games as well. But before we get into that, What's good everyone, OJ here. Welcome back to another video. Please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy RPG content, discussion, news, live streams, and a bit more. Now, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this leak of games that we could be seeing announced this year as there's been a lot of rumblings and there's a lot of potential presentations that could be showing off some of these big titles whether they're double a or the big triple a games remakes remasters new games in the franchise there is a bit something here for everyone so shout outs to my man genki over on twitter now and i'm giving him some love because he put together this list but these are things that i've seen before in previous videos on the nvidia leak itself and so much more now i do want to state before we get into this guys that the nvidia leak has been proven to be right so many times at this point with a number of announcements and one of them for example is the chrono cross remaster and there's been other games as well so let's go ahead and get into this list here that genki put together via twitter so he states unannounced nvidia geforce leak games from japanese publishers that we could see soon. Square Enix, Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster, Final Fantasy IX Remake, Capcom, Resident Evil 4 Remake, Dragon's Dogma 2, Monster Hunter 6, Bandai Namco, Tekken 8, and lastly, Atlas, with Catherine full body and Shin Megami Tensei 5. So let's go over this kind of one by one and peek out some things and just talk about it so let's just start off with atlas because that's the most i would say least exciting Catherine full body if that comes over to pc or maybe to xbox or other platforms whatever that's cool it's already available on playstation and the nintendo switch it's done well for itself but it's still the Catherine full body game that's out there so that's that shin megami tensei 5 is a bit more interesting that's been on there obviously that's a console exclusive right now for the nintendo switch but i do think that that game could come over to playstation or to the pc maybe after a year so the game came out in november of 2021 so maybe there's a year exclusivity deal or maybe it was just a year that they wanted to put the game on there and then they're going to port it over to other systems and that would be nice because there are some performance issues in shin megami tensei 5 for gamers out there I still recommend the game because it's one of my favorite RPGs of all time, hands down. And it plays very well as a turn-based RPG on the Nintendo Switch. It's not an action RPG, so you're just standing still when you do the gameplay. But there are some platforming parts, some open-ended, open-world-ish type of parts that would definitely benefit a bit from it. But I didn't have too many issues with the game. And it's just one of the best playing in terms of combat-wise shin megami tensei games out there so it would be cool to see the game kind of get into more hands of people but i do want to say that shin megami tensei 5 is the best selling shin megami tensei game ever in about five six months on the market when we got the sales at over one million units sold on the nintendo switch so there goes to show you that they made it a good call on putting it on the switch platform now next up it's tekken a i mean what more is that to say tekken 7 is a number of years old at this point i'm pretty sure they've been working on tekken 8 for quite some time bandai namco made good money and had their season passes and sold i think over 4 million plus copies of tekken 7 they have noctis in there and a bunch of other guest characters i mean pretty much it might be the best tekken game of all time so building upon that i definitely see tekken 8 happening on playstation 5 xbox and pc probably announced this year or next year or at some point for sure now when it comes to capcom i mean it's pretty much the big three here but more like the big two 
we know that there's going to be a brand new Resident Evil 4 remake. So they're taking that Resident Evil 4 game. It's not an HD remaster or anything like that. It's an actual remake of the game that's reportedly, based on the rumors out there, is really going to change up the fundamental gameplay and structure of the game. Now, the premise and the story seems to be intact, but what options that you can take, how your guns get upgraded, what guns you even get, how they work and function, and even certain story parts with Ada and everything could be mixed up to the way to where it might feel like a brand new game, which I kind of alluded to that when I talked about this. And I know that Resident Evil 2 Remake, for example, definitely had a number of changes that literally made it feel kind of like a brand new game with the modern graphics and the modern controls and some of the different quality of life tweaks and features and how the campaign worked out with both of them. So I do think that Resident Evil 4 is going to follow in those footsteps. Now, Dragon's Dogma, that definitely seems like it's happening. It's been like a decade or something like that since the last one. They're done with Devil May Cry, so I think that they've been working, because I think it's the same team that does Devil May Cry, so I'm almost positive that the Devil May Cry team, since they finished the last one, has been working on Dragon's Dogma. They talked about the anniversary that was recently, the 10-year anniversary, so that was in the leak as well, so I'm almost positive that Dragon's Dogma 2 could get announced sometime this year or fairly soon. Now, moving on to the biggest one here, and that is monster hunter 6 now we know that monster hunter world was the next big one and then we also had monster hunter rise which was also a mainline entry as well so i'm not sure if the numbering or whatever is messed up or what they're going to actually call this i don't think that they're going to actually number it and call it six i think they're going to call it monster hunter something because things do get confusing with rise and world and everything so i think they're just going to call it monster hunter something but We'll see what it ends up being. But yeah, this has obviously been in the works after the huge, huge success of Monster Hunter World and also Monster Hunter Rise. Yeah, I would expect them to already be working on the next one. Capcom knows what they're doing. They're making a ton of money with Resident Evil and with Monster Hunter. Those are their two cash cows and they're gonna keep on remaking, keep on making new ones, keep on going every single year pretty much. They're gonna have something, whether that's an expansion, whether that's a remake, whether that's a re-release, whether it's a remaster, they're gonna do something in these franchises with Resident Evil and also with Monster Hunter. And every now and then, you're gonna get that Devil May Cry 5. You're gonna get that Dragon's Dogma. But nope, doesn't surprise me at all that we could be seeing the next Monster Hunter game. Now, the thing that's gonna be interesting is that if it's only current gen with the PlayStation 5, the newer systems, PlayStation 5, and also with the Xbox series and maybe PC, Switch just got rise, so I'm not sure if this would be included in that or what they're going to be doing, but there is a version of the RE engine on the Nintendo Switch, so we'll see how it actually plays out. But I definitely feel that Capcom is probably a bit concerned with the current sales of the PlayStation 5 and also with the Xbox series if they plan to only go on those systems because when Monster Hunter World came out, the generation was definitely more developed by that point. It was a 2018-ish type of game. The generation had already been around for multiple years and people could buy the systems. So sales might be a bit weird, right? So I think that they're definitely keeping tabs on that, but yes. I expect Monster Hunter, a new one, to be coming out, and it probably should be incredible with the type of graphics that they're probably aiming to do. All right, and for the last one here with Square Enix, I want to talk about Final Fantasy Tactics Remaster first. This is something that people have been wanting, especially after Triangle Strategy came out, and to me, that's like my favorite tactics strategy RPG game of all time. It was so good the way that everything worked. I think that there is definitely an audience and people who want to bring back that classic Final Fantasy tactics. So it would be incredible if this remaster was actually true because then people can go back and play one of the best strategy RPGs of all time, especially after Triangle Strategy has been out and has been a success selling over 800,000 copies in just a couple of weeks 
on the market so i think that a final fantasy tactics remaster could do just as good if not better especially if it was on multiple platforms and not just on the nintendo switch so i definitely want to see that now for sure last here guys Final Fantasy IX Remake. Now, this is going to put a lot of different thoughts in people's head, and I want to make sure that we're on track here with this, because some people are thinking, oh, Final Fantasy IX Remake, Final Fantasy VII Remake, in the same type of vein. And while that would be great, I think that would be so fun and awesome, there is no way, at least I think, there is no way Square Enix is going to do a level of a remake that huge with Final Fantasy IX, a game that while many Final Fantasy fans feel it's the best one of the series or one of the best, it didn't have that same type of aura, it did not have that same type of prestige as Final Fantasy VII with the popularity in order for it to get that type of money put into it. I just don't think that Square Enix would do that. I think that what they're going to do is similar to maybe like the Trials of Mana remake so unreal engine 4 still very nice more of a double a almost triple a kind of like in between type of remake for the game if they do it that way now i don't think it'll be like final fantasy 8 based off of what they're saying here you know remaster versus remake i don't think it'll be like that because that was so weird they had to like reverse engineer and they kind of upscaled things a bit more smooth things out but it was still kind of weird i don't think it will be like that the graphics i think the graphics will be more in line with what they did with the Trials of Mana remake, which still looks absolutely incredible compared to the Super Nintendo game. Obviously, it's a different style. You know, one of them is the sprite, you know, kind of overhead type of deal, isometric. The other one is a full 3D action RPG. However, I don't think they're gonna change the actual RPG style like they did with Final Fantasy VII, which they changed that to action RPG. It was ATB turn-based. I think that they are going to keep the traditional Final Fantasy IX gameplay, and they're not going to go crazy like they did with Final Fantasy VII Remake. So that's my thoughts on it, but we'll see how it all plays out here. I think it's going to be very exciting over the next number of months. Maybe there's some Nintendo Directs that show off some of this stuff. Maybe we have some presentations, some Summer Games Fest stuff. You never know where stuff is going to show up and when. Heck, maybe even the Xbox presentation the e3 stuff that's going to be going on so i think it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how all of this works out and what actually gets announced this year so what are your thoughts when it comes to everything that we discussed here let me know in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell and we will see you for the next video peace